Hi everyone, John Hans Connect here. Today I'm going to demonstrate to you how to uh, collimate light into a fiber. Um, many of you might have tried this before, perhaps you've never tried it. I'm just going to give you some pointers on how to do it pretty quickly. Um, for me, I've in, in my old methods it would take me hours sometimes to get decent light into the fiber and with this method I'm going to show you uh, it's down to a matter of just a few minutes. Okay first I'm going to talk about laser safety a little bit. Um, I'm going to do this entire alignment using a 2 milliwatt 635 nanometer power source. Uh, this is a 3R laser product uh, sold by Thor Labs. Uh, there are probably other people that sell them, but uh, I can turn the laser on and off from here and I can inject it into a fiber. So right now I have it injecting where later I will be injecting a 5 watt uh, invisible light source at uh, 1.5 microns. Uh, my goal here is I focus through a uh, periodically pulled lithium niobate crystal. Then I come out and I capture it and I collimate and then I want to do a few other things. I, I want to give myself a double bounce here uh, and that's so that I have complete freedom of, of pitch, yaw, roll, all, you know, all the five axes that I need to pass through a uh, pockel cell. And then I'm going to do the same thing here with some mirrors and launch into a fiber launch. Now, I do that because once I've got it aligned through a cell, I don't want to touch anything upstream. I've, I've done the upstream stuff to get it proper for the cell. And then I only want to touch downstream stuff to get into the fiber. So this uh, periodically pulled lithium niobate, it's a frequency doubler and it will take uh, 1560 nanometer light and double it down to 780 nanometers. Now to do that alignment uh, with 1560 and 780 it would require wearing the laser eyewear and uh, that can, it can just be difficult to do an alignment while wearing all the eyewear. So my first step is I have a little target, a Thor Labs um, IR target, although this could have just been a piece of paper at 635 nanometer. There's a small hole in it and what I want to do is I want to come as near to the source as possible and, and adjust this target for the height. And then I'm going to go through my double bounce and I'm going to go as far as possible. Uh, to that target and make sure I'm still going through the same height. It seems to be just a hair high so I'm going to take this final mirror and adjust it down. Alright, so now I'm going th straight through there. Now from here on out I know that everything is in a at least a horizontal plane. Now I'm going to do a couple more things with this target. I'm going to check that each time I insert a mirror, I'm, I've got the beam retroreflecting in the same plane. So I'm going to put the target here. Hopefully you're seeing this with my camera as I align it. So my beam goes through this little hole. And one at a time I'm going to set my mirrors here. I'm going to make sure that I've adjusted them properly in height so that they double back on themselves. This is getting me everything in the same plane. And here with this mirror, yes, it's going on itself. Now you can see that this beam is coming through and hitting right there on that piece of paper. What I like to do is put a mark on that piece of paper right where the beam is hitting. Then I'm going to take my final lens. This is a FC 
fiber launch lens which can also be used to take light into a fiber. I'm going to put it here facing and I'm going to adjust its height so that its divergent output beam is also on the same plane as that spot that I had before. So now I know that all three of these optics are coming back within you know a pretty close proximity of the same plane. Now um, I have the goal of having my fiber launch over here because I have to be able to put a safety shutter in front of it. So let me get rid of this. I no longer need that sheet of paper. And I'll just pause for a minute as I set up these other lenses. Okay, um, I'm back. I have placed the two mirrors uh, and locked them down. And now I have the beam coming in striking on the center of this mirror. You can kind of see it striking there. It comes over, bounces, hits the center of the other mirror, and then it's going off at some angle over here. Now that angle doesn't really matter. We don't have to do straight uh, 90 degree bends in optics. Um, we just want to avoid seriously acute or obtuse angles. Um, now you can see as I slip in this, which yes, I had previously aligned its height and now it's lost. But I'm shooting for the incoming beam, I'm just trying to make sure that I'm in line everywhere as it comes down. And once again, I am going to mark the spot that it hits. And I'm going to double check that height again. And this time I'm also going to be checking uh, the the X plane in addition to the Y. So now I've got that circular expanded spot hitting pretty much centered on the dot. So I could say okay we're ready to launch light into a fiber but wait a minute not so fast. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to take the output fiber and connect it. The output fiber, we never want to be the final fiber that we're going to connect to. I always use a small, and I call it a sacrificial fiber, that if this fiber ever got burnt on the tip, I'm not burning up my main fiber. Here's my main fiber. It's, you know, 20, 30 meters long and, and it's uh, shielded and all that. It's polarization maintaining. But now I've got this small sacrificial fiber that's only five feet long. And I'll be able to see when I've truly launched light into this fiber because uh, it'll start to glow. I've got, I left the cap on. But I'm not there yet. What I'm going to do now is, I already know that I'm pretty happy with how it went into that fiber. So I'm going to put my target right here. Actually, no, I'm going to put it all the way back here. I'm going to pass through that fiber again. And this time I'm going to change directions. I'm going to unplug this fiber. Put a cap on it. Where did I just set down the cap, people? I'll use the cap that I'm going to use from the other. And I'm going to plug my laser source into that fiber. So now we're launching laser light backwards through the system. And I can already see that I've got a mistake in, 
in the output. Now, the, my error is not in this mirror or this mirror. My error is only in that. Because I already know I was sending light into, or what I thought would be into that fiber. So I can see that this retroreflected spot is there. I'm going to just adjust that until it passes through the pockle cell. And I hope you can see this through the target. All right. So I'm going through the center hole in that target. Now, if I've done this correctly, I may even be getting some light back through the PPLN backwards and into this fiber. I don't see it yet. Now again, I have the translucent cap on for safety. So what else do we have to do? In order for light from the system to go into that fiber, not only does it have to be in the same plane to go into that fiber, it has to be collimated so that it, so we have pretty much the same beam spot size as the beam coming out, as the beam going in, and divergence. So that's where the fine tuning takes place. I'm just going to go back with my source back to the other side and just double check everything. I can turn this off as I'm switching, but it is only two milliwatts. Laser is on again, and I'm looking at the cap, and I can see the glow. So, we are, we are going in. Now I'm just going to reach around. You'll notice that I have um, the precision, uh, I forget the word for these things, sorry. I got the precision double fine, fine and coarse on all these. I can rotate these a little bit and now you can see the light is in that fiber. Um, with previous methods of going blind into that fiber, uh, I could be lost for hours trying to get that light in. And so I'm going to play with my collimation. Uh, or divergence right here and I can optimize now ideally this would be into a power meter but I can I can kind of see what's good and what's what's bad anyway we are in I can I can adjust things a little bit at a time try to improve upon what I've got but basically we're in and here's the spot onto a piece of paper. That's not bad for 10 minutes of work. All right. I think that's about all I can say. I hope you enjoyed the show. All right. Bye.